I-95. Ethan and Lou. How are you? Hey, good, and you? Good. Well, I was just giving you a call. I'm a, a person in the uh, greater Connecticut area, uh-huh. and I listened to your radio station for years. I just, I'm just, i having a hard time listening to it lately with no. all the, 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 the nonsense about Trump. Okay. What don't you and like? I just, well, just I just listened to you half an hour ago or 20 minutes ago. It was yeah. just nonstop, just pounding him into the ground. I mean, he's the president. We're not well, like well, here, here, here's the deal. We we usually, if, if something's going on with him, if he's doing a uh, speech to the joint sessions of Congress, we'll spend five minutes uh, in the morning talking about it. It won't be every segment, but we have yeah. to. I mean, it's it's what people are talking about, you know? Yeah, no, yeah, and I get that. I mean, he's the president's free speech, and but I, I just can't see where it's making sense, where a station like yours is spending all this time on just ridiculing and mocking every... Thing but, that he does from handshakes to the way he blinks, the way he he moves his mouth. I mean, we're just making a fool out of the president of the country, regardless of who he is. Well, let me ask you this: we have a we have a, a basically what we do is a comedy show, right? And and what are the what are the late night shows do? They've mocked the president's Saturday but Night it, Live. But is that yeah? But it, but is that right? I mean, that's not yes, right. Yes, no, I think it's right. Yeah, it's 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 a way of humanizing them. No, no, I, you know, humanizing and joking is one thing, but just making every critical statement about his mannerisms, his thinking, well, let me t- uh, well, whatever let me- he does, I, it's just, I think it's very poor judgment on your part. I'm not a, a, a young kid or, you know, you know I, I'm in my 50s, uh-huh. I've been around a long time, I've been in politics, I've been in business my entire life, Okay. and I find it very, and I've done the advertising with I-95. Mm-hmm. I find it very dis- discouraging and, 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 and poor, ju- poor judgment. Well, can I tell you that, this? If, that if, these radio people, such as yourself and your partner, uh-huh. just go on and on and on and just mock and make a fool out of the president of the United States. Can I tell you He's something? He's not some third world country. He's not North Korea. So, <laughs> so well, 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 let me get to that in a second. But what, what, can I tell you that? If Hillary Clinton were elected president, we would do be. Spending, I would. I wouldn't want that either. We'd be doing the same thing. That's what. That's it, what we it's do. Not right though. Why is it not right? Because he's he's the president, right. and he's got to be doing something right. And if we have comedians or people on a major station that is just knocking the hell out of the president, it's very poor. What you, kind of? Do you what think? Kind of, do you Talk think that putting into people's minds? Do you th- see that's what I was going to get to? Do you think that us joking about him will ch- change or alter people's thought process? It absolutely does. It how, absolutely how? does. Then that that means they're not very bright to begin with. It shouldn't. Does it alter your thought process about how you feel about him? It alters my thought process about I ninety five. Well, that, on, um, that, on that's... why you would spend all this time on and on talking and ripping apart the president, whether he's. Obama, which you never did. Yes, we Nothing did. Nothing like that. Yes, we did. We, we, we used to do a, a segment. We did it for weeks called Thanks, Obama. Everything that went wrong in the country, we just yelled, Thanks, Obama. We do it with everybody. and we would, well, Maybe we, at the end. Maybe at the end of, the, of his term, that is when you guys did it. But not at the beginning. Well, I, I just, I, I'm just making a point. It's to the point where i I, I got to turn off the station when that kind of stuff comes well, you, on. You're, and I got a lot of friends and people where I live and family that say, say the same thing. Uh-huh. We listened to I ninety five for forty years, right? And you know, going and joking and, and you know, a little razzing here and there is one thing, but when you, when you're just making a complete fool out of the president of the USA, you're going too far. We we haven't gone too far. We haven't gone far enough, in my well, opinion. <laughs> you you well, you better go out. You better do do surveys because that's what most people. Are saying I, uh, that because you know most people. You've done the surveys. You've talked to how many people about this? I'm in business. I'm I'm in a pretty good size, you know, business, mm-hmm. and I talk to probably fifty people a day, hundreds and hundreds a week. Mm-hmm. And, and when this kind of stuff takes place, we, we, we all believe in free speech, and people can have their own opinion, you know, opinion uh-huh. their own thoughts. But when it starts propaganda, slander, and just downright slamming somebody uh-huh. that's wrong so you talk to hundreds of people a day about how we t- chalkboard i mean come on well, is, he, is he that disgusting is he that evil is he the guy over in north korea <laughs> if you want to if if you guys want to mock somebody 
Bring his name up. We have. We have. <laughs> Look, here, this, the, is, this is the president of the United right, States. Right. I, I understand what you're saying. It's a respect issue. And. Right. And I, I understand what you're saying. And look, we really, first of all, we're thrilled that you listen to us. And secondly, we, we certainly respect your opinion. Um, it's not that we're going to stop, but it happens usually once a morning. And because we have to talk about it. Um, but I see your whole point about the respect being given to the president of the United States. It used to piss me off when people would call him Obama. Or uh, Barack, or what? It's, it's, it was President Obama, and That's it should right. be President Trump. Right. So I understand where you're coming from. I, I appreciate your opinion, and I'm glad you called this morning. We appreciate that. All right. and plus, I'm just so you know, I'm a friend of the mayor's, and I used to be friends with Bob Mordenti. You're all maybe boss. Oh yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Well, thank thanks again for the call. Okay, I I appreciate your uh, listening. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, my now. <laughs> Everybody's entitled to their opinion, okay? First of all, I want to say it was a tremendous call. It was fantastic. <laughs> You're just too much. I want to build a wall around that call so I can listen to it every day. The sound of that call bounces off the walls. It was tremendous. It was fantastic. Look. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. The bottom line is I was dying for that guy to get nasty because I really wanted to go in on him. I'm not going to because he was respectful. Yeah, very so. respectful, yes. But I got to say, that I've always taken issue with this one thing. That, and people, I don't, I, I'm still amazed that people think this way. That a television show, that a song, that a radio show can alter people's political and social opinions is nonsense. People are smarter than we give them credit for. And anybody who can be swayed by that stuff is stupid and really, we don't have to waste time thinking about them. I think the whole point of his call was the respect issue. I don't Respecting care. The, 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 the office of the presidency yes. of the United States. Right. Sure. And making fun of him. That's and not his our job, bro. That's I not our job. That. We have a job to do. I understand And, and here's that. another thing. And, and this should not be a secret to any of you at this point. Remember, you know, Howard Stern did this for years and right. years and years. They did a movie about it. Remember mm -hmm. that he wrote his book, Private Parts, and yep. then he did a movie. Right. We don't have, <laughs> you don't have to like anything we say. You don't even have to think it's funny if you're talking about the show we've done our job. It's really not that, it's not brain surgery. No, obviously not. And I'm not mocking that guy. Again, he was respectful. He was yes. a longtime listener. I'm not mocking him. But to think that we can alter someone's mind and their political beliefs, is, is, it's garbage. It's not true. Uh, no, it is not. It isn't true. So we will continue. To do what we and not just because he, <laughs> do he, he, do. he doesn't like what we do. It's because it's what we do. Uh huh. We have to talk about it. And right. We can't talk about it seriously because that's not the nature of this radio show. And let me see this too. Um, we did joke about Obama, not to the extent that we do with Trump, and that's not because of how we feel about Donald Trump. It's because this is top of mind, top of conversation for everybody every single day in a way that we haven't seen in a very long time. If you could take anything out of this presidency and the run for uh, the office of the presidency, it's that, that, that's, uh, that I think is positive, is the entire country is paying attention. Everybody knows correct. who is in what office. Right. Every soundbite is picked apart. People are actually paying attention to politics again. For us to sit back and go, well, we don't do politics would be irresponsible. It's all anybody's talking You know the last about. time this happened? President Nixon. Yeah. I wasn't around for that. Before he, was, uh, before he was impeached. But for show. Yeah. But I do thank that guy uh, for calling up. You were tremendous. You were fantastic. Uh, stop it. <laughs> what, are you just going to put more lighter fluid on the fire? <laughs> what do you think? 758. I'm <laughs> not surprised at all. Ethan and Lou here. When my